Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how we can add additional request parameters to our functional tests in Ready API. Now, in this example that I have here, we have an e-commerce project, and within this project, we have multiple API definitions. So one of these definitions is for a REST service. We also have an async API definition for a Kafka service, and then also a WSDL definition being used for a SOAP service. Now, what I've done here is just used my REST API definition to create some functional tests here. And if I open up, for instance, the login request, this is just a simple get request with two parameters, a username and a password. And both of these are query parameters here. Now, if I need to make any changes to either of these parameters, or for instance, add additional parameters to my functional tests, what I'll need to do is open up the request from the API section. So on the left navigation bar, we can open up my REST API definition. I can choose the login request. And then from here, we can make any changes that we need. Now, once we make the changes at the API level, these will then be reflected every time we use our login request throughout our functional tests. So if we look here and, for instance, we could change the parameter types or we could add an additional parameter. I'll call this one authorization. We can select what type of parameter it's going to be, whether it's going to be a query parameter, path parameter, header. We can choose any of these options here. So I'm going to choose a header. And now when we go back to our request, you'll be able to see within our functional tests, they've been updated now. So every login request within this project has now been updated and now contains the authorization header. So it's just a very quick and easy way of being able to add or edit the parameters within your project. If you do need to add headers to specific requests, you can do this within the actual request itself by selecting the headers tab at the bottom. This will allow us to add additional headers, but these headers will only be included in this request and they won't be added to any additional login requests throughout the project. Thank you for watching.